Hey guys, Chad Trafkerman here. In this Joomla tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create articles. Now, in my last tutorial, I showed you guys how to install Joomla onto your server. So assuming you have already done that, I want you to go ahead and type in your web address and then put backslash administrator. This will take you to the administration login screen and that will allow you to access the back end of Joomla so you can edit your website. So once you put that in, you're going to go ahead and log in. For the username, you're going to put admin. You can change this later on, but once you install Joomla, that's the default username for your account. For the password, you're going to put in the password that you put in when you were installing Joomla. So once you do that, go ahead and log in. Now, we have a bunch of stuff here we can look at. But for this tutorial, we're going to concentrate on Article Manager, Section, and Category Manager. Now, when you create an article, you can do one of two things. You can either put it into a category or section, or you can make it standalone, um, which is uh, categorized as an uncategorized article. The difference here is, this helps for organization. Let's say you have a bunch of news articles you're probably going to want to group them in the same category so that your viewers will have an easier time accessing those articles. If you have more of a standalone article, like an about page, uncategorized might be your best bet there. But just for the sake of demonstration, I am going to go ahead and create a section and a category to group our article in for this tutorial. And I'll cover what, they, what the differences between the two are a bit later on as well. So let's go ahead and click Section Manager and we're brought to a new screen. Now we're going to create a new section simply by clicking new right here. Now again, this is just going, allowing us to group our articles. Categories go into sections and then articles go into categories. So just for this section, just for kind of demonstration purposes, let's go ahead and name it news like that. And we don't have to do anything else past that. Now let's go ahead and click save. We have it right here now, which is exactly what we want. Next, we're going to put a category into that section. So let's go down to the category manager and click that. And let's go and create new once again. Now for this, I'm going to put a type of news for the category. So in this case, just for demonstration, I'm going to put astronomy. and we can leave that blank alias that'll fill in for us. Now, when you come down here, you'll see a section portion that you can pick. Since we only have one section, we can only pick news for right now. So this category is going to go into the news section. So once you have that selected, we're going to go to save. Okay, now we are going to create an actual article and I'll show you how that editor works. So let's go up to Content, Article Manager, and let's go to New, just like we did before with the others. Now here's basically the meat of it all. This is where you can write your articles, or where you can post pictures, or where you can post movies, whatever your website's about. So let's go ahead and put a title. And again, this is just what we did before. Again, this is just for demonstration purposes. So. I'm just going to put the title pretty vague, cool new picture. Obviously yours will be different. So once you have your title, and again you can leave the alias blank, I guess I can explain what the alias is. Basically the alias is what will appear in your URL. So if you have an article that someone clicks on, it'll say, you know, your website slash, and then it'll have the article name. Um, and I can explain, I'm going to explain all that kind of in a later tutorial anyway, but just kind of giving you a heads up what that is. So let's leave it blank for now. Now we got to choose a section for our article. Obviously, since we only have one section created, we're going to choose news. And again, there is the other one as well, uncategorized. And again, this is probably more for like standalone articles, but we're going to go with news for right now. And then we're going to choose a category, but since we only have one category in the news section, we're just going to leave it at astronomy. So 
we come down here to the editor first. <clears throat> and this is again where you can write out your article, upload pictures, put HTML code in there if you so choose. It's kind of like an email form or if you're used to Word, of course this isn't as, is this isn't as elaborate as Word, but you can bold, italicize, underline, justify how you want your paragraphs and all that kind of stuff. So let's go ahead and just write something in here right now. I'm going to put check out this new picture I just uploaded. Okay, so we have some text down. Now, I'm going to go ahead and upload an image. You can upload images right through Joomla and it's really easy to do. So I'm just gonna go ahead and hit return here a couple of times or just once. And I'm going to come down here to my image icon right here. Okay, now you'll see that we have some images already in here, kind of like default Joomla images. If we come right down here and click the browse button, we can browse on our computer to upload an image. So I'm going to go ahead and grab this one right here and open it and click start upload. Once the upload is complete, you'll find the um, image right here. Now, of course, you can go ahead and make directories within Joomla to put your pictures in as well. And I can get to that in a later tutorial. So go ahead and click the image that you want and click insert. And the picture is now obviously in your article. If you want to edit the picture in any way, you can click it and then click the little image icon right here and you can go ahead and adjust some things like you can change the dimensions or you can add a border or if you need a space um, on the top or bottom or the sides of the image you can go ahead and add you know like a few pixels of space for your image if you uh, need that so you can do that kind of stuff of course other things you could do too if you wanted to is you could add a link to it by clicking this icon right here and you can go ahead and type in your URL and go ahead and insert that and when people click on the image then they can go to that website and the same goes with text too you can highlight the text use the link button and link your text as I want to show you and demonstrate that will actually build into the next tutorial I will do okay if we scroll up here you'll see that we have two options here first is published second is front page published basically means if it's set to yes when you save this article, it will be published to your website immediately, meaning people can look at it and view the article. If you set it to no and you save the article, the article will still be saved so you can go back and edit it later or publish it if you want, but it won't be publicly viewed. Front page obviously means it will be viewed on the front page of your website. So let's go ahead and check that right now. And let's go ahead and save this image once. Now let's go ahead and create a new tab on our browser or a new window. And let's go to our website. And you'll see that the article is posted on the front page as I dictated. But let's say you don't want your main body or your pictures to be presented right away on the front page. Meaning let's say you want an intro text leading into it. This can be very easily done, and this will be the last thing I'll show you today. Let's go back to the administration panel, and let's click on our article again to go edit it. Now, if we come down here, you'll notice that there is a button that is called Read More. This will allow us to make an intro for our um, article. So what I'm going to do to demonstrate this is I'm going to come up here to my sentence and I'm going to hit enter to put a little space there and now I'm going to go ahead and click the read more button you'll notice that there is now a red line that goes across this will now separate these two things from each other basically and I'll demonstrate that right now I'm going to go ahead and hit apply Apply and save are the same thing, except when you hit apply, it doesn't take you out of, out of the article editing. So if I hit apply, 
it doesn't take us back to the article directory. It just keeps us in here. Now I'm going to go over here to my website again and hit refresh. Now you see that the image is gone, but we still have our sentence here. However, you'll see that there is a read more button located right here. We click that, then we see the whole article. So again, if you have like a bunch of text or something in your article and you don't want that all displayed in your line of articles or on your front page, you might want to go ahead and use that read more function because it'll probably help you organize things and keep things neat. And there you go. That is a basic overview of how to create articles. What I advise you do is you go ahead and create a couple more sections and categories to work with in the next tutorial. Because in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create menu items and link them to your articles and show you how that's done. So go ahead, create some more sections, create some more categories, and create some more articles for those categories, and we will be set for the next tutorial. I hope you guys found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.